I'm Tom Houston, Senior Associate Editor of Enlightenex Magazine, and I'm here in Gurgaon, India, outside Delhi, where I'm accompanying my spiritual teacher and Editor-in-Chief Andrew Cohen on his 10-day trip around India. Yesterday, Andrew was interviewed by a local Delhi TV station, Pragya TV, on a morning spiritual talk show about his teaching of evolutionary enlightenment. Before the show, the host spoke with Andrew about his philosophy and work. What I'm interested in is not what's already happened, but what's possible, the next possible, next higher possibility. I'm not interested in what's already happened. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in what's possible. Okay. What's, what's the next possibility? Okay. So that's why we have our attention on, the, on what's possible, not what is. The old enlightenment is what is, mm -hmm. just having your attention in the present moment. Mm -hmm. The new enlightenment is you have your attention on what's possible, and then our attention is always preoccupied with what's possible, not with what is. So it means you're always re you're reaching for something higher. Okay. There's an expectation, anticipation, reaching towards something new that hasn't happened yet, something better, higher, more okay. meaningful. You understand? I get you. Very and uh, probably uh, when you think about something, uh, something greater, uh, then it keeps you going on. Exactly. You have a direction. Yeah. You have a direction, you have a purpose, you have a direction. You're not just going meandering. Like you said, some people go through a whole day, they do a thousand and one things, but they're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So if you're reaching for the future, you have a direction, you have meaning, purpose. So you know who you are and you know where you're going, you know where you're trying to get to. Sure. So you create direction, meaning and purpose. And life is all about putting your efforts in the right direction. Exactly right. Life yeah. is. <coughs> True. We are going to have a nice discussion. Yeah, yeah. This, if we go in this direction, it's going to be really good. Yeah. When did you start this magazine? Uh, maybe 16 years ago. What this is all about? That, Enlighten that next means the next enlightenment. Yeah. That, that you uh, did tell me. Yeah, the next enlightenment. So it means enlightenment meets evolution. Remember evolution means we're part of a process that's going somewhere. Right? The old enlightenment takes you go go back to zero. The old enlightenment, right? It says go back to zero. Okay. That's meditation, you go back to zero, then you're free. In the new enlightenment, you say you're part of a process that's going somewhere. And the process needs us to get there so we want to we want to make the process go forward do we talk about it in the in the context of time and space or yeah is, we do talk the, the about old it. enlightenment traditional enlightenment uh -huh. says go beyond the mind go beyond time and space right yeah in the new enlightenment says when god created the universe he created time and space right that's we are that we are that time we are that process that he created that's going somewhere. So if God created the universe, if God is the universe, then we are God that's going somewhere. So if we are God that's going somewhere, we don't need to escape. Okay. In a way, and we are the part of uh, that big mind which I was talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We are that big mind. We are that big mind yeah. and uh, in a way, we are the, uh, we are playing our part in this design. I mean, we well, have no, no. a specific in, role. No, no, no. But, no, but if you're in your ego, then you're 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 uh, you don't know what your part is. You're just playing the part of you. You're asleep. Oh, I see. So if you transcend the ego, then you can become a player. Great. As soon as you become aware of your duty, of your role, higher higher duty. Yeah. That's the, that's the when you become enlightened and you see that. But if you don't, you're lost in your ego. So then you're you know you're you're just you think you're just the personality. So if you're just the personality, then you're living a very small life small perspective yeah right you are giving entirely a new phenomena i mean uh, you're talking yes 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 now for a person like me i need to undo all the things i need to unlearn all the things which i have already learned right because the mind is so full i need to you know get rid of it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's it because it won't make me understand this that's mm -hmm. right